Hey guys, Bruno Lucia, GLB Productions. Thanks for joining me. I got myself a bit of a rant video for you guys tonight. And it has to do with this product that you see before you, which is a DBX223XS analog crossover, right? A fairly basic piece of rack gear, splits the low and the highs when you're dealing with bi-amplified speakers or sub-top combinations. Um, the problem is not with the actual crossover itself, it is with the delivery, and I'll explain what I mean by that. Uh, I recently ordered this from my supplier, and he got it direct from the factory. And the reason for this is that in this part of the world, uh, this kind of analog rack gear is becoming increasingly rare. Uh, people very rarely use analog crossovers. They either use some kind of uh, DSP or they just use the processing that's available in the current amplifiers and active loudspeakers. Okay. So I get this in uh, and it's meant to be for the passive sub video, which is still in production. Sorry, this is the last piece of gear. And I rack it up. I meant to take it out for a gig last weekend, uh, test it, plug it in, turn it on, loud buzzing noise for about five seconds and then nothing, nada, dead. No lights on the front, nothing on the back, no signal. So. I begin to suspect that something is wrong and I have a look around, I look at the back panel and I look where the IEC connector plugs in, which is there, and to my great dismay I see 100 to 120 volts. Hmm, now I of course am in Singapore and in Singapore we use, wait for it, 230 so I have just fried the power supply fortunately it was a very benign failure as you can see from this picture there seems to be no internal damage to the unit even the transformer itself has no scorch marks or anything so um, should be simple for DBX to repair this they will of course replace it under warranty um, but you know the lesson here really is before you power up brand new equipment for the first time, check the label on the power supply. Now this kind of mistake normally would never happen and the reason is that you know they don't ship new 110 volt equipment to Singapore, right? We're a 230 volt country, everybody knows this, this kind of error shouldn't happen. But as you can see from my experience, it can and it does, especially with things which are low volume, special order, that kind of thing, right? Not everything has a universal power supply and mistakes still do happen in the supply chain. So unless you want very, very short lived gear, check the voltage. <laughs> well, what can I say? You live and you learn anyway. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, shout out to the guys at Danley. Oh yeah, Synergy Strikes Back. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.